Hello friends, thanks for tuning in to this week's tech tip. You know one of the things that I like to do is share keyboard shortcuts with you guys that will make your life easier. And the unfortunate thing about these shortcuts is you actually have to get used to using them for them to matter. But I wanted to show them to you to at least make you aware that they're possible. Um, it's always surprising to me when I sit next to somebody doing work and show them, you know, I'm doing things with the keyboard and they're like, how the heck did you do that? And there's a lot of shortcuts that are very big time savers. So I'm going to share three of those with you this week. And I'm going to switch to sharing my screen right now. Okay, the first one I'm going to share with you is Window D. So you hold the window key down and press D as in dog. And what this does, as you can see on the screen that I'm sharing right now, if I do Window D, it hides all of, and I can bring it right back by pressing Window D again. And the, the reason this is useful is I cannot tell you how many times I've sat down with a client that has 70 windows open and they just can't figure out where they're at. So Window D, click, will hide everything and then you can go to your taskbar to pick the browser or Excel spreadsheet or whatever you want to bring back up onto your desktop to make life easier for you. That instead of going and hitting the little minimize tab next to every single app that you want to stop sharing, right? So that was the first one is window D. The next shortcut I'm going to show you is control F when you're in application. So I'm going to maximize this window. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the screen a little better. And what I wanted to show you is this idea of control F as in Frank. So when you press that, it will bring up the search functionality and most of the applications support it. So Excel and Google Sheets and different things like that. This is a Google Doc that I'm in right now. And so you can see right here that I can type in T-E-C-H in the search window to find all of the occurrences of tech in this document. And I can use the up and down arrows to scroll through all of these occurrences of the T-E-C-H in my document. So that control F is fantastic. I use that all the time. And this last shortcut I wanted to show you is Control Shift V. So you're probably familiar with Control V, which is paste. So if you've copied something and you want to paste it into another location, uh, you can hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste. I'm sure you're familiar with that. But what a lot of people struggle with, I've seen this plenty of times, is when you're copying and pasting formatted content between applications, it can cause you all kinds of weird problems. Like if you copy from Microsoft Word into a WordPress website, it can cause all kinds of weird problems. So there's a little simple trick you can do called Control Shift V. And what I'll just show you what happens. So if I highlight this text right here and I hit Control C to copy it, and then I go down and I hit Control V like normal, boom, you'll see that it co copies all of the styles and everything with it. But if I would have hit Control Shift V, you can see that it pastes the text, just the plain text into the document. And that's a great shortcut. I use that shortcut all the time. Getting in the habit of Control Shift V is one that you might find very helpful if you're moving content from one application to another and the formatting is causing you issues. Start by pasting plain text into the document and then doing the markup to make it look more interesting, right? And that's it. Those are three keyboard shortcuts that might save you a lot of time. And hey, if you know somebody that might benefit from these tips, please send them however you got this content, whether it's on LinkedIn or an email or whatever, please send this to your friends. I would love to help other people and increase the audience. And, and you know, I'm trying to help people with this content. Thanks for tuning in and being with me on this journey. I'll see you next week.